Rocky. Give it some time. Don't do this. A lot of people live with hurt. Major, a lot of people don't have a choice, I do. And for that, you're willing to lose everything? Major, this ain't everything. This house and the cars and all the stuff we got, that ain't everything. Why can't you change your thinking? Everybody else does. Because I'm a fighter. This guy is mean, he's nasty, he's a savage. He can win any way. He can knock you out or he can submit you. He's gonna be here a while. Find someone to beat him? I hope you've cleared your schedule. He's just a different kind of flyweight. Very different than any of the flyweight champions before him. He might be the hardest hitting flyweight of all time. Eight and one in the UFC. Uh, six of those wins now have come via finish. Figueredo's been on a roll, man. This kid's an absolute monster. Uh, you know, he's been destroying everybody. Figueredo's a bad guy. He's missing weight and not apologizing. He's bleaching his hair. He's wearing velvet shirts. This is a crazy fight. Wow. Oh, something different and if the guys at 125 pounds are going to remain as vanilla and boring as they have for the last decade now there's actually a spot for them. no controversy this time that that guy is violent wow oh! big cut it down oh! davis and figueredo wins it oh, oh caught him out. figueredo looking for the finish and that is it he's a spectacular mixed martial artist what he does that's different than the other flyweights is he's finishing fights oh, big oh, oh, big oh, run oh, for Davis and Figueredo defends his title. Brandon Moreno is out to prove tonight that he should be next for a shot at that flyweight belt. I want to. I want to face Brandon Moreno and Dana. Make this happen. That's the fight that I want to I have. I need to be the best in this division, so I'm so ready for that. Who would you like to see him see fight next? Moreno. I, I think we keep them both in town and we try to turn this fight around as quickly as we can. Neither one of these guys took damage tonight. The fights were done in a round, so I'll try to make that fight as soon as possible. You say as soon as possible before the calendar turns to 2021? Possibly. Wow. If everything goes right. Deal's done. He's going to UFC 256. On three weeks' notice, the quickest turnaround ever, DC, in the history of this sport and of this company for a champion and a challenger. Derek Lewis did it in about four weeks against you. He wasn't the champion. No champion or challenger have had a quicker turnaround than these two guys who are going to fight on December 12th. Pretty remarkable. Uh, he, he has said in the past that he wanted me. I have said in the past I wanted him. And uh, I'm not got to grow hood, uh, to hold grudges, but you know, I just, I'm just holding myself and controlling myself because otherwise I would do it off the octagon. But I really want to strike him and I want to uh, submit. What do you think about the fly or, or a champion and his number one contender stepping up three weeks after fighting uh, on the same card and, and making yeah, an event? Incredible. Not only do I love it, but I mean, if you're a real fight fan, you love guys like this that just fought and then turn right around and fight each other again three weeks later. Doesn't get any better. Oh! Oh, guys appear to land. Oh, oh, there's a left hand body by Moreno. people say it. I'm hearing people even going further just as it pertains to 2020 saying that it's the greatest yeah, fight I mean, of the some year. People are calling it the greatest fight in the, in the history of the division. So 
incredible fight. I mean, the only thing to do is rematch, man. You gotta, you gotta do that fight. I want the rematch. I know he wants the rematch because he's a warrior like me, and we can do it again. Slugging it out, haymakers. I mean, we've never seen this kind of action. You know, and I had uh, something happen to me yesterday. I had an infection in my stomach. I was in the hospital until 2 a.m., and I didn't know how I was going to be able to perform. He didn't feel good in the middle of the night last night, so he went to the hospital. We need to. I need to talk with Davidson and say. Hello, welcome to the world of the mixed martial arts. Excuses, you know? Yes, I think are excuses. Brandon, the assassin, baby! Moreno! I, 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 I thought Brandon Moreno won the fight. When you have a, a team or an athlete that is a massive underdog, and they're in a the fight with a, a champion like that, or they become your story. The media and all the people around, around this world of the, the mixed martial arts talked about him like super god, you know, the god of war. Oh my goodness, this is crazy! Oh, he's very good, but he's a human being just like me, you know? But the next time, I'm gonna take the Breno Moreno head out. He's gonna bring his head to Brazil. Davison Figueredo gets it done in the first round. Most Davison Figueredo is still undefeated. Oh, oh, oh. Figueredo looking for the finish. Figueredo's looking for something to do. I think he's going to end up doing it pretty well. This is a crazy fight. Wow. Oh. Now I want to see who wants, for one night only, under the unified rules, to be his partner. Oh, oh my goodness! Yeah, something wrong with my mouth. I mean, if he was playing hard enough, he reminded you of all the great guys. Oh, uh, yeah. Not giving up on themselves, constantly digging to the body. Amazing now, I'm ready. I'm ready for the big stage right now. I feel on fire, bro. I feel on fire. You looked on fire, sir. Congratulations. Brandon Marino, ladies and gentlemen. Here I'm ready to go! I'm you know, I love to exchange points with the people. I know, again, the power of Figueredo is different, but man, I'm ready. I'm so ready. I'm. I want to be the next flyweight champion. Davison, Figueredo, Moreno. This, this is without a doubt one of the top fights of next year.